It is truly crazy to think that it was a year ago, almost to the day, that I sat here in this chair and delivered my last channel update to you with this exact shirt on, by the way. I think this is just the channel update shirt now. Let me know in the comments if you think this should just be the running gag from now on. Hello and welcome to the Samuel Plays Brass channel with, as per usual, your host Sam, where today I will be talking at you a little bit more than usual, so if you've tuned in, I hope you enjoy that sort of thing. Last year, like I said, I did my last channel update for you all, where I came to you with about a quarter of a beard on my face and told you about how I had a huge backlog of content and a huge amount of stuff that I was envisaging for the future. The state of affairs on this channel is almost entirely the same now, to give you a little TLDR if you will. I still have a massive backlog, there's still a ton of stuff I have planned, and I still can't grow a beard. I will say the facial hair now is by choice, ever since my mustache grew in I figured I'd just kinda keep the sideburns fairly minimal, at least for the warmer months. Who knows, maybe in the winter we'll bring back the helmet strap, but I'm not really planning on it right now. If you recall last August on the Samuel Plays Brass channel, I referred to it as Scholastic Brass Month, where I basically took a whole bunch of student grade brass instruments and some elementary brass topics and talked about them on the channel just before the back to school season. And I admit this was for the goal of growing my audience, but it was to sort of act as an outreach to maybe the younger generation of brass players who, sure, have a few things to learn in the world of music, but are sharing the same enthusiasm and starting to find it as the rest of this community has for brass and other music topics. Some of my videos are so niche and dialed in, scoped in, that besides me there are probably two or three other people on this planet who care about them as much as I do, so it's tough to find an audience in that sort of thing sometimes. Now that August is coming up once more on the channel, I want to do a similar thing. We're going to bring back sort of a reprise of Scholastic Brass Month, but things are going to be a little bit different this time, subtly so. Watch out for that, and also on that note I just want to say I have so many videos planned that we're going to be completely scrapping the upload schedule for the month of August. That upload schedule, which you'll find on my channel banner, which says a new short every Wednesday and a new long form video every Friday, has been good for me in order to induce some sort of structure in my life, especially as I'm supposed to be giving my patrons over on patreon.com slash samuelplaysbrass early access to my videos, and so having that schedule in place just reminds me, okay, I upload my videos for the week on Sunday, my patrons get access to them on Monday and Tuesday respectively, and my public audience gets access to them on Wednesday and Friday. That has been really good for me, especially as sort of the engineering side of my life, which is where I'm getting my degree, is pun intended concretizing as I am interning for a company that deals with concrete, and that takes up a lot of my time, so it's important that I am sort of steered back into my lane with the channel and don't completely forget my obligations, especially now that I'm running that Patreon page. By the way, if you have a few bucks in your pocket, I would really appreciate your support on patreon.com slash samuelplaysbrass. It's a great way to support the channel and sort of take some of the load off my shoulders. It allows me to fund bigger and better projects, and that's sort of the goal here. I want to be able to do that without constantly drawing money from my pocket that would otherwise be going towards, oh, I don't know, my engineering degree, my tuition, things like that. So your support, once again, on patreon.com slash samuelplaysbrass would be hugely appreciated, and you'll be rewarded with various perks, early access, behind the scenes content, that sort of thing. A lot of fun stuff. So please make sure to check that out if you feel inclined. Since I mentioned my college degree, which is in engineering, I should also mention that I am in the honors program there and coming up on my fourth year here, even though I will be presumably doing five, assuming things work out the way I've got them planned, this fourth year is gonna be the year of my honors program senior project. And that is gonna be more centered on music or rather the engineering of music. That is something that's been in the works for a while but is having trouble concretizing or becoming more concrete. But essentially, we're going to be doing some really, really niche and educational videos with regards to that as my audience is sort of going to be more college age and it's largely interactive with the other people in Gonzaga University's honors program. So that should be sort of released around this fall gradually, assuming things kind of fall into place in that regard. And I think it is going to be really interesting. We're going to tackle why it is that trumpets and other instruments sound the way they do, kind of how to dial in your perfect mouthpiece, things like that. Again, really niche stuff, but it should be a lot of fun if you stick around for it. Now, there are a bunch of videos of various types that I owe you all, thanks to various goals being reached, such as, oh, we reached 50 likes on this video, therefore I owe you that video, or, I don't know, the fact that we reached 20,000 followers on Instagram about half an eternity ago and I still haven't delivered that Q&A. 
I barely got enough questions for that, so that's probably gonna be about the last of the Instagram Q&As, unless my page suddenly like skyrockets to 50,000 followers. But that's all in the works, never fear. It's just with the crazy backlog I've got of videos that are half filmed, half edited, and everything in between, it's been a little bit nuts. That all is going to be coming, at least by the end of the year. These videos span a pretty wide gambit. I've got a couple of harmonic analysis videos I need to do, which is a little intimidating considering I don't often talk about music theory so much as instrument theory on the channel. I'm not exactly the Adam Neely type, even though I watch a lot of his videos. But we'll see if I can translate having watched Adam Neely and Charles Cornell into hopefully making something halfway cohesive. There's a lot of like screen recording gimmick stuff that I have to do for that as well, which is intimidating. Speaking of intimidating, oh my gosh, repair videos. I've got 10 or 20 videos of me restoring instruments that are just sitting, filmed, and not edited. That I really have been struggling with. There's a lot I can do there. I can release, you know, trailers via YouTube Shorts. I can release pretty detailed videos just as they are, as actual long-form videos. And I can even do extended cuts for Patreon, which, by the way, is another reason to support me on patreon.com slash SamuelPlaysBrass. But the trouble is, I need to do all that editing, which is pretty daunting. So anyway, theory videos, repair videos, couple of multi-tracks that I owe you by virtue of having reached a certain like goal. I owe you a video displaying my entire collection, which, as I said last year, would be a rather daring expose of my problem, as we call it. And I owe you, let's see, a, a tier list, I think, for different uh, mouthpiece categories. There's a lot, just bear with me. <laughs> now, while I can't say that I need or particularly even want feedback from you on video ideas for the channel, just because I have more of them than my head can possibly hold at this point, I do want your feedback in the comments on one very specific thing, or perhaps one very broad thing. How can I, on the Samuel Plays Brass channel, create a more enjoyable, engaging, and interesting viewer experience for you? The reason I ask this is for, well, I suppose it's several reasons. First of all, the YouTube algorithm has been a little bit stinky with me lately. It's very temperamental. My newer videos are oftentimes not performing to the standard that I'd like. First of all, my channel has sort of a dead channel vibe to it, where my subscriber count far exceeds my general view count on most new videos, which is annoying because I would like to be growing my audience in a large capacity rather than just having a whole bunch of subscribers and struggling to get a couple hundred views. Nonetheless, the algorithm, even on my recent videos, has really been toying with me a little bit. Either videos aren't performing as well as their previous counterparts, or sometimes I just feel like I really put my best foot forward in editing and making a video really engaging, and still it just performs very low compared to the most recent uploads. It's just an annoying sort of thing where I'd like to ask you if maybe there's something lacking in my videos. Maybe the lighting's not great, although I don't like having great lighting on my face. It, it's, it, I don't like looking at myself in that capacity. Or maybe I need to be shooting my videos in a higher resolution. Maybe I need to be editing them in a more fast-paced format with less rambling, perhaps, like in this video or in the last channel update or in any other video on my channel. It's been tough to grow the channel lately, and it's annoying, by the way, to see that YouTube shorts are becoming just an increasingly vital staple in growing your channel, because there's two sides to that coin. First of all, you need to be making these short-form vertical videos in order to drive new audiences to your page because of the fact that on your phone, the shorts feed is just right there at a click, and you can just scroll and find infinite videos that way rather than having to seek out a channel and heaven forbid flip your phone sideways to watch a longer video that has to hold your attention for longer. The other side to that coin is that people will only find my videos via that scrolling shorts feed the way it is on Instagram or TikTok and they'll assume that these dumb 20-30 second clips of me are representative of the content on my page and they won't check out my long form videos. That is annoying and that's why I'm trying to kind of bridge the gap with like trailers from my repair videos or like excerpts from my review videos. By the way, if you're somebody who discovered my channel off of shorts and now actually go to the time expense of going to my channel and watching my long form videos, and like I said, heaven forbid, rotating your phone sideways and listening for longer than a minute, so much love for you. I really appreciate that because as my shorts are becoming overwhelmingly the most viewed videos in my channel, people just don't really watch my long form videos that much. So if you tune in, I really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Anyway, with all that aside, if you choose to leave me some feedback, which I would greatly appreciate on how I can improve my videos, please try and step back. I know if you're here still listening at this point, that means you really like my videos and can tolerate my voice and my rambling and all that. So I really want you to take a step back and evaluate this without any bias. If you were new to my channel and you were debating, is this guy worth subscribing to and tuning into on my lunch breaks? I really want you to take that sort of a stance and 
give me feedback on how I can really improve things to make things better for the incoming viewer who isn't sure if I'm worth their time. You know, I sat down and I thought this video was going to be a couple of minutes long. I thought I was just going to basically one and done Scholastic Brass Month and that new nerdy series that's about to come out. Instead, I've been here talking about the state of affairs for just distastefully long. If you're still here, I really appreciate you sticking around. Again, it seems that you tolerate my voice and my rambling somehow, so I really appreciate you sticking around. Once again, one more time, please consider taking a little bit of a load off my shoulders if you've got a few extra bucks in your pocket and supporting me at patreon.com slash samuelplaysbrass. And just do me a favor, stay tuned for the immense amount of stuff we have to come. Despite my engineering degree and all the other craziness going on in my life, I really want to make sure I'm delivering the best content possible here in the greatest capacity in a way that appeals to all of the growing nerds in my audience. Until next time, which is going to be very soon, thanks to the month of August being right around the corner, I will see you on the flip side. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you want to support the creation of bigger and better content on the Samuel Plays Brass channel, have your name featured right here, and a whole host of other perks and benefits, then please consider pledging your support at patreon.com slash samuelplaysbrass. For now, you can find more videos in the end screen cards to my left.